moving on to the testosterone dietary supplement. So testosterone is produced from uh, cholesterol. Believe it or not, cholesterol is actually uh, the way, 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 way back progenitor. So when, um, you know, men and D and I sat down to design the testosterone support, we were kind of thinking to ourselves, well, what are the precursors of testosterone, right? So you can think about it as, you know, pouring water, uh, you know, down a slide. You know, you're going to get some of the water to go where you want. Some is going to go on the sides of the slide, but most of the water is going to go where you want it to. So if you look at that supplement, it's going to have DHEA in it, which is a precursor, dihydroepiandrosinedione, right, uh, to testosterone. So you made sure we had large amounts of DHEA uh, to kind of fill out the supplement, you know, and supplement the the uh, supply. Because if you think about it, if you're making testosterone, you're going to draw cholesterol, pregnenolone, and DHEA into making your tea, your own natural testosterone. So you're going to have lower stores. So what better way to build testosterone than to have lots of ample supply of the raw materials to make it? So when we decided that we were going to make this, we you know we knew we wanted DHEA in there. I think that's you know really important um, you know to make sure we have a lot of upstream materials to make this. Um, we want to make sure that we have a natural supplements in the system to help support testosterone, uh, like Indol three and Maca, right? And then uh, we use things like DIM and the grapeseed extract to uh, help with um, aromatization or estrogen rise. And I've got great responses for patients on testosterone with just taking DIM itself. You know, um, so what we said, hey, let's put it into the supplements. So you can take this supplement; it'll have everything. And you could say, well, why is the zinc there? Well, I guess most people don't really think about this, but where is testosterone actually transcribed? The receptor for testosterone is not on the cell. It's in the cell. Where? It's in the nucleus. Well, whenever you open DNA, you need zinc to open the DNA. So this is actually a really smart thing. So the guys, pharmacists and I were sitting down like, hey, look, how do you open up the, the sequence to run testosterone? Well, the receptor is a protein that you need zinc fingers to run the DNA transcript. So that's why the zinc is in there. So there's a little bit of the, you know, that little science we just put in there just to make sure we could, uh, you know, make sure we could, you know, make our supplement different from everybody else's. Um, this is a supplement that's over the counter. I think MenMD, uh, you know, sells it. It usually takes about 60 to 90 days to get the full effects of it. Um, I think that this supplement, you know, um, you know, is a nice way of naturally pushing up your testosterone um, in a way that, you know, it's not going to be, you know, needing peaks and troughs. It's going to run your own system a little hotter. Um, you know, it's not for women that are pregnant. It's not for, you know, uh, transgender women. I'd say if you were a cisgender man or a transgender man, you could take this. I don't think I'd recommend it for men that have not gone through puberty yet as their hormones may be different and you, you don't want to mess with the system until it's stable because when you've gone through puberty, then you're going to slowly go down that slide unless you watch diet and exercise, right? So how are you going to naturally raise your testosterone without taking a supplement? Diet and exercise is all you've got. As you remember, as you age, that number is going to quant fall downwards until you hit 60. So this is kind of a way of kind of pushing yourself up naturally with diet and exercise to kind of help you out. You really don't want to, you know, mess with the system while it's uh, going, we're going through puberty and, and going forward there. The health and medical information provided during this webinar, as well as the questions and responses from the webinar providers, are solely for informational purposes. This content is not intended to take the place of advice or treatment from health professionals. Nothing presented in the webinar is intended to be used for medical evaluation, diagnosis, or treatment. It is not intended to substitute for your relationships with your own healthcare and pharmaceutical providers. Always seek the advice of your healthcare provider before beginning any new treatment or if you have questions regarding a medical condition.